Hello everyone, my name is Delt Lead and welcome back to Simple Rockets 2 and today we're going to be practicing landings with a bunch of different airplanes and I decided what better way to practice landings than to step it up from the most basic old school biplanes up to, you know, single wing prop planes, maybe some modern planes here at the Drew Space Center. So yes, this is our first craft we're starting off. I built this biplane. It's pretty basic. It's got all the basic necessities you would need, so we're going to go ahead and crack open our controls, turn our navigation on, uh, what else, we'll probably want some radar, uh, get our fuel and our gauges going, bingo, bango, bongo, we are ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my HUD, we are doing this uh, all by the instruments in the plane, as realistic as I can get it in this game, so we're going to throttle up, and we are rolling, let's see here, Let's watch our, yep, there's our back wheel picking up, so we're picking up speed. We're sitting at not 180, there we go, 42 meters per second and climbing. Let's go ahead and lift off. Now we need to find out, where are we going to go? We could fly, if you look at the radar here, we could fly around to like the edge of the Drew Space Center and then uh, kind of go from there, so going to have to keep pitching up a little bit. This thing does want to pitch its nose down. Uh, here's what we can do. Let's see, I want to go... Uh, pitch. I just want to put a little bit of trim on my pitch right there. Just just a little bit more trim. Not that much trim. There we go. Okay, that's holding nicely. Go back to first person. Beautiful. Look at that. We're sailing along so nicely right now. We could fly down there by those islands. Maybe check that island out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's throttle up all the way. Swing down here. And fly by this little island and then we'll make our rounds around here we're gonna be practicing uh, different lengths of run up onto the runway you know like fly out really far and get a nice line up versus you know like making a quick turn onto the runway so right now I'm gonna do a pretty typical landing fly um, my final approach here and then let's see that's the runway right there is what we're going for so I'm gonna go ahead and Roll over, all right, and we're gonna cut the engines. I just need to line up now. So we're going, we're only going 96, 90 meters per second right now. So we're cruising pretty slow. This will be a pretty nice and easy landing. Okay, I think we're lined up. We'll give it a little bit more. There we go. Okay, lined up nicely there. Gonna go ahead and pitch up. Bring us down, bring us down, bring us down. We are 10 feet. 10 meters off the runway now just gonna coast in for a nice gentle landing and touchdown we are on the runway just gonna roll to a stop now beautiful look at that and pitch up and hit the brakes keep my back wheel on the ground there oh, 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 oh. don't want to don't want to pitch too far forward there we go we are on the ground that was a nice easy landing uh, this is a pretty easy plane to fly because it is, you know, just so easy to control, so slow. Let's give it another go. We're going to do a little bit more uh, intense of a landing approach this time. That was like a nice, pretty standard one. We're going to do a landing approach here where we are like really pushing the limit of what this plane can do. So I'm going to fly up. We're going to take a pretty high altitude for this one. I'm going to pretty much fly just straight up here. Uh-oh, we out of fuel. We're not out of fuel, are we? Oh, no, we're not out of fuel. The propellers just stopped working. That's fine. Okay, so our propellers stuck, but we're still flying. Don't worry about that. This is not the most realistic of planes. Um, all right, so we are up, though. Doing good, doing good. Look behind us. We could go for runway 13 from here, try and put it down like a pretty sharp landing maneuver we'd have to pull off to get down to that runway. So let's, uh, let's say that we're flying over the runway. We've lost our engines, so we are quickly losing speed. Now I need to roll over and get to a runway 13 as quickly as possible. So there it is right there. I'm going to pitch down. We're coming in for the approach. Nice and steep, just the way I like it. Real intense here. And pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, almost in line. Pitch down, get close to the ground. There we go. We're All right, we are on line. Now we need to just bleed some speed. Touch. Touch. There we go. Wheels are on the ground. We're just coasting. Let's go ahead and pitch up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. 
There we go. Wheels on the ground. Hold the brake down. And come to a stop. Yes, yeah, so this plane, super easy to fly. Always a joy to fly it. Nothing too difficult there. A little hard to turn, though. Can't really get it to turn. Yeah, it's fine. That's whatever. It's a biplane. It's nice. It's fun. All right. That's one plane, and we can crash it just like that. But uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to load up a little, a little bit more of a challenge, a little faster plane, and take this landing in a little bit more fast and uh, powerful airplane. All right, everyone. So we're stepping it up quite a few generations of aviation later to basically an F-18. This is actually the in-game stock airplane, uh, or not stock airplane, but one of the airplanes that is included in the game when you download it. It's called the Wasp 2.0. So what we're going to do is we're going to crack into this cockpit here. Let's see. Canopy. Nope. Keep the canopy on. And I want to take control of our pilot, Bill Smith, here. Let's go ahead and bring up our panels. We've got navigation here. We'll bring up radar. Uh, fuel and gauges. Alright, we've got all the information we need here. Let's go ahead and lower our canopy. Boom, canopy is locked into place. Get rid of that HUD, that pesky HUD. And throttle up. We are about to lift off. Now this thing, this thing has some get up and go right here. Let me tell you. We're going to go ahead and get off the ground here. We're going 90 meters per second already and climbing quickly. Let's see if I can raise our landing gear. Got that in. Yep, there we go. Landing gear is in. Let's go ahead. Let's take this little guy on a joy ride here. Let's fly around. Let's explore the area. See what this place has to offer us. See what wonders there are waiting for us out here. And then we'll bring it in for landing. And we're going to attempt a couple of landings with this thing. Because this, I feel, is going to be a much more tricky thing to land. All right, we've had our fun, and we need to start thinking about how we want to approach this landing. Now, Drew Space Center is right there on my left. We've got a couple of runways. I'm going to go for the main runway, because I think that's probably going to be the best one to shoot for with this plane. So we're going to go ahead, throttle down here. I'm going to bleed some speed, because we're going, right now, we're going, like, almost Mach 2. So I'm killing the speed right now. And we are down to still over Mach 1, still supersonic, pulling some big G's here, trying to kill my velocity a little bit. All right, we are under Mach 1. We are subsonic again. So that's a more appropriate speed to be attempting a landing at. I would not recommend landing supersonic. That's a, generally a challenge to do. So we're going to come in. We've cut the throttle right now. I'm going to bring my throttle up just a little bit here. Um, give myself just a little bit of gas. Uh, as we make this approach, we're going to go ahead and deploy the landing gear. So landing gear are coming out now. Beautiful. And I'm going to get ready to deploy my air brake when we're ready. We're not quite there yet, but right before I break over the runway, I'm going to deploy the air brake on this thing. Uh, we are almost lined up now. I'm going to throttle up a little bit more. Still need a little bit more juice to make it to the finish line here. Okay, almost there, almost there. Still losing speed. Okay. Holy cow, that was that was insane. Dude, that was crazy. My wing literally exploded on contact with the ground. I have no idea. Like my wheels touched down just fine. The wing exploded. I like totally lost control for a second there. What on earth? That was probably the craziest landing I have ever pulled off in this game. I mean, gee whiz, that was that was intense. I don't think, 
I mean, it's a good thing I got it on, on camera because I don't think anyone would believe that I'd done it. That was nuts. Look at this. The wing's just gone, and I still managed to put it down. All right, well, okay. That was intense. That was crazy. We're going to go ahead and move on to the next uh, plane that we're going to be flying, and it's going to be a big challenge to land. And I mean literally a big challenge to land. All right, this is it. This is the big kahuna, the grand slam of planes to be landing. This is the Simple Airways, and it is a big, big, big plane. It's so big, in fact, that its wingspan extends over the length and width of this runway. So we're going to have to be on the money when we're bringing this thing down for a landing. It is a big aircraft. So we're going to go ahead. We're taking off from runway 13. And here's my plan for a path, right? Where we're going to go is we're going to go off from 13 here. And we're going to fly out past this island over here. We're going to fly out over the ocean, come around, bank around, and we're going to land on runway 27 here, coming in from the uh, east here, heading uh, on a 270 route down for a landing right there. So that is the plan for our path. We're going to go ahead. I've got a camera mounted here at the front. We're going to go ahead and pull up our nav ball. There isn't a proper cockpit here for me to be doing in first person. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to fly it just from the cockpit here or this camera here and uh, give it a go. We're going to go ahead and try to land this thing and see if I can do it on the first take. Level off. Nicely done. Nicely done. Okay. And then once we are kind of in line with it, and in fact, I think I can go into my map mode, if I'm not mistaken, and target the Drew Space Center. I might even be able to target the runway. Mm, nope, just the launch pads. Okay, so I can't, can't target the runway, but I can at least target the Space Center. And the reason that I want to target the Space Center is I can, now that I'm targeting the Space Center, I can see when I'm lined up on it on my navigation globe, which is very handy indeed. So we are almost lined up on it. Actually, that's it right there. Now it's on 270 heading. The yellow cross there is on the 270 heading. That basically means we are lined up with it. We go ahead and level off. We're gonna go ahead, throttle down. We don't need all of that throttle. In fact, we really don't need much of it at all. And I'm gonna go ahead, hit the brakes early now, because I need to kill some speed. This thing has, inertia deploy our landing gear okay landing gear is being deployed we are coming in for the landing now and everything's looking good so far i'm gonna pull up pull up Ooh, we're a little out of line and a little too low oh okay let's see if i can't get us on the runway get us on the runway oh oh failed landing that's a big crash all right well that was not a successful landing attempt let's go ahead and try that again not good that is not good oh 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 lost speed ah, I lost too much speed shoot okay oh what did we hit the edge of the runway what happened there what's going on yep okay so that crashed these landing gear are not doing too hot and we are crashing 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 not a crash landing, lost an engine there. Oh! Landing gear up. All right, we're gonna we're gonna give myself some more running room here. I'm thinking maybe that's my issue. Is I'm not I'm just not giving myself enough rope to work with. 37 kilometers, almost 40 kilometers away. 
that's a little bit more reasonable. We'll keep it at 100% throttle here. Uh, no, we'll drop, we'll drop the throttle. We'll drop it down to 70%. There we go. All right, throttle's holding at 70%, and I'm going to try and line up here. Mm, I'm a little right of the runway, so I'm going to roll again. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling over, coming this way, and I'm just going to come back, and I think I've got it. Reverse thrust again. We're 14 kilometers out. All right, here's what we're going to do. Quick save time. Boom. So I've got this approach. We're going to make this a little bit faster if I screw this landing up again. Landing gear is deployed. We are lined up with the runway at this point. Looking good. Brakes on. Pitch up. Pitch up. Pitch up. Brakes on. Pitch up. Pitch up. Pitch up. Pitch up. Come in low. Alright, I think that's contact. Yep, that's contact. Throttle up all the way. Brakes are on. We gotta stop this plane. 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 Come on. 120 meters per second and dropping. Oh, we might get it. We might get it. 90, 90, 80. Oh, come on. Come on. 60. I think we got it. I think we got it. I'm gonna yaw a little bit here. 30, 25, 20. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's the landing. That's the landing, everyone. Two and. And we're still rolling. We gotta. Those engines gotta spool down there. That's the landing. We stuck. We finally stuck the landing. This guy is a monster of a plane to fly. It is hard to fly. It's cumbersome, heavy. It's got a lot of inertia. I'll, let me tell you about inertia, right? Inertia is a property of mass to resist a change in velocity. And if you're going 200 meters per second and you're this big, it takes some force to slow you down. But I finally got that. That landing sucked. That was hard. That really, really, really was difficult. But I think that's where I'm going to leave this video. If you liked it, like me playing around with some planes, changing it up a little bit. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I love your guys' support. It's always meant a lot to me to see you guys, the feedback you've been giving me. And I always try to listen and use your feedback to make my videos better and to make them more enjoyable for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Enjoy your weekend. And I will see you in the next video.